get off your tablet and get outside. The Power of Earthing in Child Development Written by Beth Costanzo Narrated by Angela Olfest What is earthing? Earthing is the act of putting the body in direct contact with the earth. The contact is direct, which means that the skin, most often of the foot, touches the earth's soil or water. Earthing explained. Essentially, the foundational principle behind earthing is that we as humans are part of and belong to nature. Even though we may live indoors and enjoy the benefits of modern society, we as humans still have our roots in the earth. Earthing, therefore, is the process of connecting our primeval selves back to our planet. It all comes down to using our feet or hands to make direct contact with the surface of the earth. The earth underfoot provides us with many things we take for granted. It gives us food and water, a surface to sit, walk, or stand on, and an eternal, natural, and gentle energy. The simple fact of the matter is that when we are disconnected from the earth, we feel tired and fatigued. Having our feet connect with non-natural materials, like carpet and tile, is subconsciously exhausting. We feel unhappy and unhealthy because it is our natural state. By contrast, when we are outdoors and making direct contact with the Earth's surface, we start to feel better. We receive a charge of energy that makes us feel faster, better, and happier. Did you know that direct contact with the Earth can help address symptoms like anxiety, chronic fatigue, sleep issues, depression, and more? Along with this, your kids can obtain the dual benefit of exercise. Getting outside and playing outside unlocks the benefits of earthing and being active. When was the last time you walked barefoot in the sand, grass, or in a forest? As technology has gotten better and more advanced, it offers plenty of distractions for your children. Gamers have a plethora of games that they can access, whether it is on a console, tablet, or mobile phone. For your older kids, the internet offers plenty of opportunities to watch the latest viral video or chat with friends over social media. It is hard to argue against the position that technology has generally made our lives better. But having said this, technology and other indoor distractions have changed the way that kids grow up. Not surprisingly, kids are spending much more time indoors than outdoors. This increased indoor time has consequences. Namely, when kids sit inside all day and play video games, they forego some of the key advantages of being outside. The clear one is exercise. But there is another significant advantage that kids and adults can get from the outdoors. It's called earthing. Earthing can be just the thing your child needs to live a happier and healthier life. The simple fact of the matter is that technology and other indoor distractions make it all too easy to stay indoors. Yes, technology creates a long list of benefits in our lives, but it does so at the expense of spending time outdoors. The Importance of Earthing for Children Earthing can be useful in a variety of situations. For instance, if you are starting to notice that your child has been feeling down or sad in the past few weeks, you may want to encourage your child to get outside. Luckily, there is no one right or wrong way to experience the benefits of earthing. You don't have to necessarily teach your children anything. That said, there are several different examples of ways for your children to experience these benefits. First, they can simply go barefoot outside. Your child can sit, stand, walk, or run on surfaces like soil, grass, sand, gravel, and rock. Once again, it doesn't necessarily matter what your child is doing. He or she can be relaxing or can be more active. Whatever she or he selects, they will get the benefits of earthing by making contact with these surfaces. If your child is more aquatically inclined, she or he can get these benefits by swimming. Having said that, swimming in your above or below ground pool isn't going to be enough. Instead, 
she will need to swim in a lake, river, or ocean. As with all swimming activities, ensure that your child is a good swimmer and isn't swimming alone. In terms of timing, try to have your child participate in some earthing activity for at least 30 minutes per day. You may find this challenging on some days, especially if your child is busy with school and after-school activities. Nonetheless, your goal should be to make earthing a daily practice. If you absolutely cannot fit in earthing session on certain days throughout the week, you may also want to consider some indoor earthing products. While you are foregoing some of the other advantages of earthing, namely time outdoors and potential exercise, it is better than nothing. Self-regulation in children is something that can be influenced by earthing. Earthing is when your body connects with the earth and the electron transfer occurs. The earth's energy neutralizes the free radicals in your body and allows neutrality to take place. Your body can then self-regulate, self-heal, and rejuvenate itself with the aid of earth's healing power. One of the best ways to practice earthing is to walk barefoot on the earth. Our bare skin is conductive. Our feet have a high amount of nerve endings which are needed for electron transfer to occur. During the summer months, children often have more opportunity to practice earthing or grounding as they spend a greater amount of time outside barefoot. However, there is not always opportunity to walk barefoot due to safety hazards or weather conditions. Another way children can practice earthing is to encourage them to touch the earth as much as possible. Building sand castles, making tree forts, helping in the garden, swimming in the lake or ocean are all ways kids can be exposed to the earth's healing energy. In winter months, play in the basement. Sitting or walking on the concrete is another way to connect to the ground as concrete is moist and conductive. The more extensive and longer periods of time children spend touching the earth, the greater the benefits, which in turn encourages self-regulation. Earthing is easy and practical. As a result of earthing, you'll quickly see positive behavioral changes and heightened self-awareness in kids. Once they receive input from the earth's energy, children who have allowed the earth's power to infuse a calmness in them will notice a decrease in their internal stress level due to external stimuli and improved self-awareness. Offer children ample opportunities to practice earthing and you'll find self-regulation will come naturally to them. Earthing Facts Indigenous cultures have practiced earthing for a millennia, so it's not a new practice, but it's gaining popularity in recent years as more and more people start to realize how we've lost daily contact with our natural surroundings. Your body is naturally able to absorb electrical charges from the earth since your skin acts like a conductor. Your feet, specifically certain points in the balls of your feet, are believed to be especially good at receiving the Earth's electricity. The human body is electrical first and chemical second. The brain, heartbeat, and neurotransmitter activity, for example, all rely on electrical signals. So when our electricity is off, so can be certain aspects of our health. To incorporate an earthing practice into your life, Try to get outside while totally barefoot for at least 30 minutes a day. If you can't dedicate that much time, then do it for as long as you can on a regular basis. By getting outdoors to practice earthing, it can also help you avoid the all too common vitamin D deficiency too, and maybe also lead to increased exercise. Recent studies have exposed the benefit, even necessity, of spending time outdoors both for kids and adults. Studies show that kids who play outside are smarter, happier, more attentive, and less anxious than kids who spend more time indoors. Whether you have a toddler or teenager, I highly suggest that they develop a daily earthing practice. To put it simply, the benefits substantially outweigh the costs. So what are you waiting for? Don't hesitate to get started today.
This has been Get Off Your Tablet and Get Outside, The Power of Earthing in Child Development, written by Beth Costanzo. The Adventures of Scuba Jack. Visit us at www.adventuresofscubajack.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Everybody and follow me from the beach to the cove or in the sea. It's time for learning, it's time for fun. It's a great adventure for everyone. Come on, everybody, and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun, and learning. Scuba Jack, it's a shark attack. Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from The Adventures of Scuba Jack. I want you to subscribe here. I want you to give us two thumbs up or likes. And I want you to comment in the comment section. See you soon.